Well, hello. Um, we are in lesson 11 here going to do an investigation of our next um, property. And it is another multiplication property. It's called a power of a power. I want you to think about that and wonder why we call it a power of a power. Uh, if I start with 5 to the 4th, got some parentheses. And then outside those parentheses, I have another exponent. So this is a power because it's an exponential expression. And we are raising it to an additional power. So this is a power of a power. That's why we call it that. So it's this is multiplication upon multiplication. So, you know, technically, if I have this exponent of 2, it means take what's inside the parentheses and multiply it by itself twice. Take 5 to the 4th and have two factors of it, right? These parentheses meaning multiply, right? Now I could, you know, expand that out, that 5 to the 4th is 4 factors of 5 times 4 factors of 5, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times, and I'm multiplying 5 by itself, right? So our rule, remember, for uh, when we see multiplication of powers is that we are technically just adding those exponents, right? Okay, so keep that in mind here. Let's try another one. 3 to the 3rd raised to a higher power of 3. So that means 1 factor of 3 to the 3rd, 2 factors of 3 to the 3rd, 3 factors of 3 to the 3rd. And our shortcut there was to add all of those exponents, right? So that would be 3 to the ninth, right? Okay, this is three factors of t squared. One, two, three factors of t squared. Okay, and our shortcut for multiplication is to add our exponents, right? t to the two, four, six, right? One more. Why did the seven squared? Y to the 7 times y to the 7, two factors of y to the 7, y to the 7 plus 7, y to the 14. Okay. So we don't want to have to keep writing this out, right? There is a shortcut to get from here to here. So the shortcut I want you to think about how can I just take a big old leap without expanding it, right, and get here, right? So when we expanded it, we knew our rule was to add these exponents. But shortcut would be, are you seeing it? What are we going to do? Hope to see it. Without expansion, we are just going to multiply the exponents. So we got two powers. We're going to multiply the exponents as a shortcut, right? So what does that look like if we make it a rule? Are there other ones we've been writing down. Well, let's say it's a to the m power, and that is raised to the n power. Shortcut Instead of repeatedly adding m, repeatedly adding is multiplication, right? We are going to multiply when we have a power of a power, the exponents. Multiply the exponents, right? So when we had this up here, y to the 7 raised to the higher power of 2, it was y to the 7 times 2, or y to the 14. That repeated addition is just multiplication, right? So let's do a couple examples of that. Applying this rule. 2 to the 3rd raised to the 4th power. Instead of expanding it, the shortcut, when we have a power of a power, is to multiply them. 2 to the 3 times 4, and that's 2 to the 12. 
goes to 2 to the 3rd, times 2 to the 3rd, times 2 to the 3rd, times 2 to the 3rd, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that is 3 times 4, right? How about over here? 6 to the 7 raised to the higher power of 11. 6 to the 7 multiplied by itself 11 times. 6 to the 7 times 11. I don't know why I said 6. C. C to the 77. Power of power, we multiply the exponents. Okay. How about here? Okay, I've got two different factors that are getting multiplied. So I'm going to simplify this one first. 3 to the 4 raised to the 5th power. 4 times 5. 3 to the 4 times 5. Times 3 to the 5 times 4. And this, remember, when I'm multiplying powers, I'm going to add them. 20 plus 20. So it's going to get tricky, right? You're going to have to keep these rules in mind. You might need to keep all of those that we've written down in front of you as you work. And one more. h to the third times h to the second raised to the fifth power. So I'm going to do one step at a time here. Multiply my powers. 2 times 5 is 10. And then my second step now is to add these powers. h to the 3 plus 10. So the way I try to remember this is that that higher power that came later, that was harder than multiplication. Exponents are harder, right? You learned addition before you learned multiplication, right? So this was the 2 times 5 higher power, harder. Multiplication is harder than maybe addition. I don't know if that'll help you or not, but something. Okay, that's that.